Hey everybody, what is going on? Hope you guys are having a good one. My name is Galaxy and welcome to today's video. Now, uh, I'm sure you guys all know what the video is. I'm going to be going over the new Halloween shield, the Scream of Terror, or, you know, the Bloody Harvest shield, whatever you guys want to call the event. Um, now, first, uh, I'm sure the majority of everybody watching this video is wondering where to get the shield. Uh, the answer is pretty simple. Uh, the most likely places to get this are the same as all of the other Halloween legendaries, either from loot ghosts, I'm pretty sure you even have a chance to get them from like badass ghosts, and maybe even regular ghosts, and Captain Haunt, but I'm gonna just say that the most viable loot sources are the loot ghosts and Captain Haunt. Um, again, that is the case with all of the legendaries from the event if you're looking for any of the other ones as well. Now, if you're watching this video, I'm already like 100% sure that you know what's going on with like the possessed enemies and how to get into the heck hole and get loot ghosts and stuff. So I'm just going to skip the fluff and let you guys know how the shield is. It's pretty bad. Gonna be real. There is nothing discernibly special about it. Uh, I've, I've used it a bit for myself and I've even tried looking it up from a uh, uh, other people or if anybody like on like reddit or something had used it but really there's not like too much info out about it so i don't really think there's a crazy special effect that it has um it seems to be just a regular nova shield to be honest uh i'm gonna go out on a limb and say that there's no possible roles for the shield either because uh, like every single one that i've seen has been exactly the same so if you do happen to get one i'm gonna wager that it'll look exactly like this one now the shield does look cool, which is pretty cool, but uh, that's pretty much all it has going for it. Its capacity is kind of low, but its recharge is kind of high, and it has a bit of health regen, which is good. But it doesn't have any effect that can, can really compete with something like the stopgap or the big boom blaster. So I really don't see this being used over anything that we, we currently have. I would still advise everybody to keep theirs if they end up getting one, just because it is such a rare item. And by that, I mean, like, it's only available from now until early December, and it might not come back, like, ever. So, it could potentially be something you never have the chance to get again, so, uh, make sure to keep those. And with all that said, I know it was a quick one and a boring one, but uh, I feel like everybody needed to know that there wasn't really anything special to the shield or anything special of how to get it, so just be on the lookout for it, but it, I wouldn't go out of your way to try and give one. Um, thanks everybody for watching, make sure to hit that like button for me if you would be so kind, and subscribe for pretty much anything Borderlands in the future, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.